today we're doing what I eat in a day vlog. I follow OMAD, which is one meal a day. This lifestyle has changed everything for me. I'm completely obsessed with it. It is a challenge I took on for myself that I thought would be literally impossible. And I have proven to myself different things in the process as far as my own level of determination, my own level of discipline. It has opened up an entire world to me and I'm obsessed, okay? I don't have to be super strict on my macros. I don't have to be super strict on the type of foods I'm eating. I re really honestly can eat whatever I want. Now, this week, I did what's called a down day. Now, some people follow alternate day fasting where they eat normally and then they fast for a day with very low calories, like 500 calories, and then they eat normally. And so I did a down day this week where I did 700 calories within my OMAD meal. Now, normally in OMAD, I stick to around 1300 calories or right around that area. So this was a major drop in calories for me and I did that and I actually felt completely normal. I didn't have any extra hunger or anything because I made sure I got plenty of protein in that meal. So if you do down days, there's ways to do it in a way that you get the same amount of protein as you would eating higher calories. It's just, your lower calories. And the way I did this was through yogurt. So I get a specific kind of yogurt that has low sugar and also high protein. And I did three cups of that, which was a ton of protein. And I added oatmeal to this and some raspberries. And I also added a scoop of a protein powder and I mixed all of this together. And this made a great meal that was less than 700 calories all total with that along with my supplements and that was my down day. Now the next day I went to Chipotle, 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 okay? <laughs> I think I pronounced that correctly. If I don't, please let me know in the comments. I'm sure you will, you always do. So <laughs> Chipotle um, and I got a double chicken bowl from Chipotle. I also got beans on this and I couldn't even finish the whole thing. I almost finished it all, but I got so stuffed. I don't like to stuff myself with my OMAD. Anyway, that was yesterday, and that takes me to today. Now, I wanna share with you guys my fasted hours over the last couple weeks so you can see this. I'll put that right up here. And you can see I've been focusing on 23 hours or more per day. Some days, 22 hours. I had one day at 20 hours, but I also have some days at 24 hours. So it fluctuates and it changes. Now, if you're new here, I got insane results from OMAD. You can check out my before and after here. Um, but I also focus on healing my microbiome and this is what opened me up to no longer paying attention to macros, like not cutting out carbohydrates. I used to be keto, I used to be very low carb. I don't do that anymore. And it allows me to have this balance where I feel free, I don't have the hunger, I don't struggle when I'm fasted. And so today I'm gonna take you on my day to day. We're gonna walk through this together. I don't even know what I'm planning on eating today because I usually don't even think about it until it's time to eat. And right now I am 20 hours fasted. So in a couple hours, we'll be breaking my fast. Back in that, back in that bag again. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Back in that, yeah. Tell them to watch it. So this morning and every morning, I do black coffee with ice. I do that um, in my fasted window. I've trained myself to this. So lately, I have been focused on just doing things I love. And you know what I really love? Chinese food. So I think I'm gonna have Chinese food for lunch today. And before you get on your high horse talking about what's bad about Chinese food, everything in moderation. And that being said, what I've found is I feel amazing eating anything as long as I eat protein with that meal with my OMAD. So in the past, if I was eating higher sugar, higher carbs, but I was eating all day long, I would find myself hungry 
shortly after eating that because you didn't, I didn't eat enough for like an entire day. Now, when I eat it all in one meal, I don't have that same feeling. I feel great, I feel full, I feel satisfied, and I can easily go and fast for 24, 23 hours. I think that's important because a lot of times, if you're thinking like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be eating foods I don't really like, but then I'm going these long distances fasting, there's an, an unbalance there. You balance it out by giving yourself the freedom to be able to eat whatever you want in the time when you do eat, right? Time restriction is different than macronutrient restriction. You can restrict your time without restricting the types of foods you eat. Now, of course, if you have diabetes or if you have a reason to cut back on your carbohydrates and sugar and have specific medical conditions like that, then that's a little bit of a different scenario. I don't have anything like that. So I've healed my insulin resistance. I've healed my uh, um, issues with food. And so that leads me to complete freedom to eat what I want as long as I fast to balance it out. So I entered in all the food that I plan to eat for lunch, which is sweet and sour chicken with lo mein and an egg roll, and that comes to 1,300 calories. Now it comes to 53 grams of protein, and so I can have probably like as dessert um, a yogurt, which will bump my protein up if I want, but, and I try to stay around 70 to 100 grams of protein. However, I am fully confident that I will not be hungry after this meal and 50 grams of protein is pretty much the amount of protein that will maintain muscle. Um, anything above that really does help with like satiety. So if you're someone who finds that you get hungry if you don't eat enough protein, then that might not be enough protein for you. For me, as long as I have the carbs, which I do in this meal, I'm not gonna feel hungry after eating this, but we will see, I will check in with you guys. This is that food balanced lifestyle. Now there are green beans in here. There are some vegetables in here, not a ton of vegetables. I wouldn't be eating this every day and that is the point, right? And the thing I love about OMAD is in the past when I was doing keto, if I had a meal like this, I would feel so guilty and I would feel like, oh my gosh, it's gonna take me like a year to get back on track after this meal. And now here I am being able to eat whatever I want as long as it's within my eating window. And for OMAD, I try to stay around a, like an hour of an eating window, however, I can go up to four hours, depending, you know, if, I, if I'm still hungry, if, I, if I'm eating and then I want to have something else in there, like a salad or something. Um, so, but typically I'm, I'm less than an hour because it doesn't take that long to eat a meal. But the point is that with food freedom, food flexibility, and with fasting, fasting, especially time-restricted eating, especially OMAD, it doesn't matter really necessarily what you eat, it matters when you eat the most and how much you eat, okay? So I put it all into an app, it's all portioned for me. I ordered from a restaurant that I know the calorie content because they have to track that, that is in the meal. And obviously this is going to fluctuate, it's gonna change from day to day, it's gonna change from meal to meal and you cannot be completely accurate but you can be close. If you are close enough, that is good enough, okay? So yesterday I probably had about 1300 calories as well. Today, another 1300 calories. I love this lifestyle because I feel my healthiest and also before you get on your high horse saying, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're eating Chinese food and, and you think you're teaching people how to live a healthy lifestyle. No, I'm helping you live a balanced lifestyle and my blood work results and everything points to the fact that I have improved metabolically since I left a low carb lifestyle by adding in this balance, by focusing on fasting. There has to be some sort of restriction, right? Our bodies are made to go long distances without food, that feast and that famine, and then to eat and then to do it again. We are not made to be eating around the clock. That is not natural for our bodies. It's not natural. So if you're thinking, oh my gosh, like snacking is life, it's not life. Like it's breaking up with that habit, starting new habits, 
understanding how you feel your best and allowing yourself that freedom to do things you love. Listen guys, life is short. Are you gonna get to the end of your life and say, oh, I'm so glad I didn't eat that Chinese food? Or are you gonna get to the end of your life and say, oh my gosh, I enjoyed every part of this amazing life. I got to eat the amazing foods that I wanted to eat. I got to do amazing things I wanted to do. I got to feel my best. I got to have the most energy and everything to support my goals. You do that, I think you will live a very satisfying life, right? What do you have? Okay, so here is what 1300 calories of Chinese food looks like. Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. This is what dreams are made of, seriously. Mmm. Oh my God. So I like to jump on the rebounder after eating and that was a ton of food, but I can still rebound. Sometimes I'll wait like an hour or so, but the rebounder is great. That or going for a walk, some sort of activity to clear the glucose. I am now a couple hours into my next fast and I'm mixing up ketones. So I drink ketones every day, either in the morning or in the afternoon, sometimes both, but they help with the appetite and the hunger control and they just are an amazing tool for fasting. So I drink this with ice and water and it helps me go throughout the night without hunger, without cravings, and literally have helped me change my entire routine to what I want with OMAD. So, this rainbow candy, which is so funny because you would think it would be colorful and it's clear. The other thing that's amazing about it is that it's very high in like B12 vitamins, B6, B12. And the mood, you just wait. My rest of my afternoon is gonna be lit, lit because of the mood benefits that come from drinking this. Ketones go straight to your brain. They cross the blood brain barrier and they just give you that feeling of just being high on life. Literally, you can do anything. Unstoppable force feeling. So I do have samples of these. If you wanna try them, I'll put it in the description below. Uh, for a limited time, I have free samples. I don't know how long that'll last, but if you want a free sample, you're gonna to have to grab it before it's gone. Outfit change. I love me a good black, black on black. I pick up my kids off the bus. I take the golf cart to the end of the street to grab them and then I have my vitamins. So lately I've been taking some iron and this multivitamin and I don't take a multivitamin every day, but I do like every other day, every couple days. But then these Viome supplements, which were made for me from my microbiome testing, it fills the gaps because this tells me basically what my body needs. And I probably don't need to take the multivitamin too, but I usually do just, I don't know, for an extra layer. It's now the next day. I'm about to go to lunch with my husband. I did the exact same routine this morning, black coffee, iced. I do meditation also in the afternoon, which I didn't show you in this video, but I did meditate. I usually meditate for about 15, 20 minutes or so, or at least I try to. So going out to lunch, here is what I'm wearing today. Um, funny thing, when you reach your goals, all of a sudden you don't feel the need to like dress up but like jeans and like a t-shirt that was literally my goal it was literally my goal to just comfortably wear jeans and a t-shirt it's wild 
um, the simple things, right? So stay tuned for more of these vlogs. If you like these, let me know down below. And I also have an entire new series of podcast episodes where I go into detail on how to do OMAD, different tips, strategies, and unlocking different areas of accessing our ultimate goal as we learn together through this whole thing. And so be sure to check that out and I will see you in the next one.